Hi, welcome to the How to Get Help podcast. I'm Michael Francis, Communications Manager for AHEC West. Here with me today is Kaylee bennett Cindy from the Apples for Children program. How are you? I'm doing really good. I'm happy to be here with you today. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good. So Kaylee, what can you tell me about your program? Apples for Children um, has been around in the community for 30 years. We work to serve families and child care providers and caregivers of young children in the early childhood range. So anyone birth through second grade, we have a couple different programs under our Apples for Children umbrella. One that families seek out to assist assist with funding for child care is our Caring Connections program. Our wonderful family support specialist can help families apply for child care scholarships and also locate child care if they are looking to go back to school, if parents or caregivers are looking to pick up some extra hours at work or return to work maybe. And so that is actually the child care scholarship program is through the state of Maryland. And once you're kind of in that program, you do have to do recertifications every year, but they are able to assist with even before and after care up to 13 years old. So there are income eligibility requirements as well as employment requirements and education credit hours. They are pretty accommodating to most families in our community. Um, So even if you think that you may not qualify, it would definitely be worth reaching out to Caring Connections and um, putting in your application um, through the Maryland Scholarship Program and seeing if you qualify for any assistance. Another great aspect of this program is the Kinship Care Support Program. So that is for up to 30 hours a week. If you are a relative or a neighbor that provides um, informal child care, you can receive some monetary reimbursement for that. Parents are or caregivers are required to be employed or in school for at least 25 hours a week. So So aside from just the scholarship, our Caring Connections program can also help you locate child care. Um, So if you are a family that um, has been displaced from a child care program or you are looking to enroll in child care, that is something that can feel really overwhelming um, to parents. So reaching out to the Caring Connections program can kind of streamline that for caregivers and just kind of put you in contact with, you know, one person who can kind of guide you through that process. We try to keep really good track of who has openings and when they have openings coming up in an effort to make it easier to navigate for families. We provide this service to um, all the way from Garrett to Washington County and so Allegheny fits right in the middle of there but all of Western Maryland we we provide the service to. We attend a lot of community events throughout the year with community partners um, but we also host some of our own events through our Capes for Kids program. Capes for Kids is our infant and early childhood mental health program so essentially it's a prevention-based program that looks to reduce or prevent challenging behaviors in young children. So within our Capes for Kids program, we have no income guidelines. So any family that is identifying any challenges or any child care program that's identifying any challenges or is seeking any um, learning opportunities. So we're hosting a few parenting workshops that are coming up. We have varying locations in Garrett, Allegheny, and Washington counties. We get a lot of questions from families asking about breaking these generational cycles of disciplinary parenting. People hear things on TikTok about, you know, gentle parenting and, you know, the the actual techniques and the actual strategies sometimes are not relayed in those short messages. So, you know, coming out to our workshops, it just is an informative way of getting information about new research-based evidence-supported Um, parenting strategies. Where are you guys located? Wherever you are, (laughs) really. Um, We have a central office in Hagerstown and we have a central office in Allegheny County. Our providers, our behavior support specialists, um, they work in childcare settings, in preschool programs, and in homes um, with families to kind of bridge the gap between Um, child care programs and the strategies that are being implemented there and then taking them into the homes to help the families uh, bridge the continuum. And do you have a phone number? We do. We have a phone number. It's 301- 
733-0000. We work with parents who have childhood trauma themselves who feel like that might impact their ability to parent. Identifying areas for growth, we're happy to come in and um, you know provide any kind of learning opportunities, any of the workshops, maybe you barriers to transportation or maybe you have barriers for childcare. We're happy to provide any of that in home too. You know, we work with a lot of people, parents, caregivers who have anxiety themselves and we just meet people where they are and just work with them for as long as they need us to be there to help them with their parenting and then also help them being a mentally healthy person. So we work really closely with Allegheny and Washington County Birth to Five programs to help parents facilitate referrals there and then also to help families understand the IEP documents or the IFSP documents. It can be very overwhelming. Um, I'm a former special educator myself. We have some other teachers on our staff, some Head Start teachers and our staff. So we get it. You know, we do. We understand, you know, how difficult that can be. And when you have a child, whether it's at home or whether it's in a child care setting who's having challenging behaviors that comes along with an IEP or an IFSP wanting to work towards, um, you know, meeting those goals and those objectives, you know, in those plans is so important because you can see how that directly reduces the challenging behaviors, but it's difficult to focus on on that when the challenging behaviors are occurring. Just kind of triaging the situation a little bit and, and determining where's the best place to start so that we can be the most impactful. So you've spoken about challenging behaviors. How does that kind of correlate with the infancy population? Obviously, you're not going to have an infant who's having challenging behaviors. It might feel challenging, um, <laughs> but you know they're not having challenging behaviors. So we're just working with postpartum families as well as prenatal moms and families to just really understand the um, stages of development that they are experiencing, that the child is going through. I think knowledge is power. You know, when we understand um, what is happening, it kind of makes us better, easier to cope with it, whether that's your living room, your bed and the bassinet or a playground, um, you know, or a McDonald's or wherever it is you prefer to be supported. Do you guys have social media? Yes, we have social media. We have a lot of great uh, content creators on our team. Um, so I definitely encourage you to or anybody to follow us on Facebook and also on TikTok. If you are watching this and you're an agency and you think that it might sound like it could benefit your agency to partner with us, um, we are are always looking at innovative new training and learning opportunities to write to meet the individualized needs of our community partners too. And then what's that phone number one more time? 301-733-0000. Great. Thanks, Kaylee. Thank you.